Whether it's during the initial appointment stage or collection, the healthcare process goes through multiple people representing different organizations. What ends up happening is a too many cooks in the kitchen scenario that opens the door to mistakes along the way. Out of every area during this process though, medical billing errors seem to happen most often. Now this is a huge problem that exists and it sometimes leads to fraud accusations. It doesn't matter whether you work at a giant hospital conglomerate or at a local practice, you're held accountable for mistakes. Hi everyone, I'm Matt from eTactics and today I'm going to give you medical billing error statistics that every healthcare organization should know. Before we get started though, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it as well, so when we post new helpful content, you get notified. The first major statistic I have for you is that 80% of all medical bills contain errors. If you Google something like, how many medical bills contain errors, you'll find a few different answers with different numbers to that statistic. Some experts across the web says that the number lands somewhere between 30% and 40%. That lower range of numbers comes from an analysis conducted by the University of Minnesota professor Stephen Parenti, quoted in a USA Today article from 2012. Believe it or not, healthcare was much different back then. Even then though, medical billing experts actually believe that the number of errors was closer to 80%, and since then, that's been the belief of many. Another statistic that you should know is that mistakes on bills cost hospitals $68 billion annually. When billing mistakes happen, the organization has to pay it back to their affected clients. Think of these miscalculations in healthcare like getting a refund for buying something that was on sale at a retail store. The unfortunate reality though is that nothing within this industry actually is on sale. However, patients can take solace in knowing that hospitals and other facilities have to take responsibility when medical billing errors occur. Next, you should know that medical billing errors mar the credit reports of around 14 million Americans. This comes from a 2011 study conducted by the Commonwealth Fund. Most likely, the Commonwealth Fund concluded this information based on the percentage of doctor bills on people's credits reports. They then looked at the likeliness of medical billing errors happening and multiplied that by the first number that they had. As a result, they could conclude that the number of Americans with errors affecting their credit is a little bit higher than the entire population of Pennsylvania. 46% of provider fraud cases were due to duplicate billing and invoicing for services not needed. Sure, every provider makes mistakes, but if certain mistakes happen on a consistent basis, they may have to answer to an audit from the government. It's a very common invoicing error that happens when a doctor's office charges a patient for the same procedure multiple times, among a few other things. As you can guess by that statistic, it also happens to be one of the most common ways providers face charges of fraud. My fifth stat for you is that patients have nearly paid $1 billion in billing mistakes involving severe malnutrition diagnosis codes. How does one branch of diagnosis codes end up costing patients so much money in errors? Well, naturally, certain codes cost more money. That makes sense. To find this disparity, the Office of the Inspector General and the Department of Health and Human Services had to investigate. They found that many hospitals use two specific ICD-10 codes, E41, which is malnutrition marasmus, and E43, unspecified severe protein calorie malnutrition. OIG concluded that almost 250,000 Medicare claims contained at least one of the codes between 2016 and 2017. They determined that facilities who use these codes should have used other malnutrition codes or none of them at all. Next, 70% of US patients aren't motivated to get a second opinion. Why is this such an important statistic? Well, since a patient has such a high chance of receiving an erroneous statement from their doctor, it behooves them to get a second opinion. If they don't, then it's that much harder to realize that the amount that they're paying for for their treatment is inaccurate. That's the unfortunate reality that the majority of patients face though. Although they might be a little bit more motivated to seek out a second opinion if they knew some of the statistics that I've mentioned during this video. The seventh statistic I have for you is only one third of patients are confident that their medical bill is accurate. This statistic contradicts one I listed earlier. It suggests that the majority of patients aren't confident in the invoices they receive from their doctors. If they don't feel comfortable with what they're required to pay, what should they do? Google anything related to lowering medical bills and millions of blog posts will pop up with their suggestions. But out of everything suggested, they should ask for a second opinion, which is something only 30% of them do. The final medical billing error statistic I have for you is that two out of every 20 patients catch an error in EHR notes. Now, if you've kept up with industry trends, then it isn't a surprise that patients actively look at their medical records. Transparency in healthcare continues to grow in importance. What is a surprise though is the fact that a relatively high percentage of them are finding errors in EHR notes. The EHR is the first place the billing process starts. In other words, if there's a mistake there, then there's a much higher chance that something else will go wrong by the time the patient is asked to pay. 
Now, I do want to reiterate that although most medical billing errors fall under the category of fraud, most facilities aren't committing these mistakes purposefully. We know that the healthcare industry is highly regulated within the United States. After all, it's always one of the leading topics during presidential elections. But before any positive change can happen, the industry has to accept its current state. As I pointed out throughout this video, mistakes during the invoicing stage happens often. Now, if you'd like to learn more about medical billing errors, reach out to eTactics. And you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below.